Welcome to Religion Wink TV where my spiritual ears stay. Alright guys, so what you were just looking at was the first page of a lawsuit Cardi B brought against Tasha K and um some other blogger named Star Marie, which we all know Star Marie ain't no damn blogger. <laughs> just like myself, Religion Link TV. I just kinda get some information and kinda put videos together, get a couple thousand views here and there without bashing Tasha K or any other content creator or celebrity I may have a little scoop on or a little tea over here a little wink wink okay we got a little wink wink going on okay we got to sprinkle some wink wink so solution wink wink on it right so Tasha K this is the first page of it it's like a 30 page document you guys can go look it up it's public record and also you guys remember she just recently did a no show she did a no show in court and I explained to you in that one video I did it's possible the judges and the lawyers talked and made you know some kind of deal where she didn't have to show up but you see you can see the documents of um of you know the guy but Dennis Byron his court papers so the reason I bring this video before you is because Tasha K has been served but let me know what your thoughts are down below if you believe this recording you're about to hear if you believe the other posts I'm, I'm gonna read to you let me know what you think about this whole entire mess I mean for a woman to be pregnant guys and I don't care what you say Tasha take a break take a rest fall back now daytime tea time has said some weird spiritual post over there i'm gonna break down later on because i hate when people play with god when the devil bite them in the ass now all of a sudden they want to be so spiritual i don't like that so candace we're going to have a one-on-one -on -one and i'm gonna respond and react to your video you put up yesterday so i better go ahead and hurry up and record it right <laughs> before she try to take it down because <laughs> it just sounded stupid as hell not her faith or anything like that just the fact that you would use the word of god after the fact when i said like jesse smollett why didn't god keep you from doing this shit before the fact and your faith so miss me with that candace i'm coming to see you later on back to you tasha k you got a lot of winos over here that swear i'm dissing you and trying to pull you down girl all i'm over here saying is that you've been served apparently by uh the process servers and tmz caught the recording and i'm gonna go ahead and let everybody hear the recording now and i will be back with the rest of my commentary i'll let you hear a clip of this recording if you want to hear the rest of it go to lioness of judah's page she is over there hot on tasha k trail still y'all thought through that video she was kind of easing up and you know extending the olive branch to tasha k this girl is still up she says she ain't sleep all damn night y'all trying to get the scoop on tasha k so with that being said i'm not regurgitating anybody's content these are just public documents that i'm sharing with my audience tasha's linus or judah whoever care to watch okay or don't i'm still gonna share it with you all right so with that being said go ahead and check out this clip it and i shall return before we go any further let me go ahead and read this post to you that goes along with the um recording so it basically says the blogger cardi b is suing over some wild allegations just got served in a heated exchange with a process server one that included an apparent threat of gunfire well what the hell going on tasha k we broke the story cardi's going after tasha k for claiming the rappers a drug using prostitute with herpes cardi's lawyers hired a process server to deliver the lawsuit to tasha's residence thursday night this audio from their run-in obtained by tmz makes it clear things quickly got dicey do you shooting CeeLo over there, Tasha K, with the process server? Girl, let me find out. You got Baby K shooting them dices, rolling them dices over there, girl. All right, love you and Baby K, but here's the audio, y'all. Hey, I'm sorry. Uh, you live here? Can I help you? Yes, I need Okay, all right. Yeah, what's going on? Uh, actually, uh, these are for you, ma'am. For you. I'm uh, Curtis Up. Who are you? I'm Curtis Up. I'm a process server from the courts, man. You've been served. Well, I tried. I tried. No, you're going through my mail 
Well, I, 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 did, I had to make sure I'm at the right address, that's all. That's all you have to say. Okay. I'm, I'm not afraid of being served. Okay, I apologize. Okay, but don't, I'm sorry. don't do that again. That's illegal. Like, no, ma'am. If I wanted to blow something in your head at my mailbox, I could have. You're on my property and don't want to tell me who you are? No, yes, ma'am. My name is Kervin Self. Okay, Kervin And what I, ju what I just did was legal, ma'am. Trust me. Okay. I all wouldn't right, do anything well, illegal. Again. Thank you. Okay. Yes, ma'am. All right. <laughs> Okay, Tasha Kiwi has been served personally at her house in her driveway. Uh, it is April 18th, 9.59 p.m. I will end service at this time. So guys, you heard this occurred on April 18th, 2019. And, you know, of course, nobody's going to out their own tea or clock their own tea when it comes to being served, right? So, Tasha K can out everybody else's business why she didn't out the fact that she got served. Alright, guys. So, what do you think about that whole audio you just heard? Is Tasha K threatening anybody? Um, is she being mean to anybody? Is she, uh, uh, you know sounding angry in any way well let me read this post to you and then you be the judge of it okay and again this is all allegedly coming from tmz i do believe so with that being said check out this post and i shall return it goes on to say the post the rest of the post you all you hear the server id himself Natasha, and the male companion as they pull up to their home presumably her husband Tasha got pissed because she says the guy was in her driveway looking through her mail. Although she was pissed, he does his job handing her the docs and delivering the line, you've been served. Tasha responded by informing him she's within her rights to blow something in your head. The server assures her he didn't do anything illegal, but Tasha wasn't having it. For the record... Cardi Sue and Tasha and another blogger star Ebony Marie Jones who ain't no damn blogger just went viral on some damn hideous shit she probably was saying about Cardi B at the time some truth some allegedly fake news for defamation and wants their video posts about her deleted so guys we all know it was about maybe 23 videos in 14 months that tasha k had did on um cardi b and i'm sure nobody has done that many videos on tasha k other than sweet ma you know what i'm saying hell i probably even got about maybe 10 over here <laughs> i'm joking maybe so i mean she's good content but again i don't drag her but what do you think about the rest of this post? And let me know your thoughts down below. Thank you. Okay, guys. So you pretty much seen and heard the documents for yourself. You saw the post of the um, alleged court documents. And you saw the video. Uh, you heard the video. Excuse me. So what do you think about this whole thing with Tasha K being sued and served? Um, and also with daytime tea time alleging and alluding to the fact that she has lawyers involved and there may be some more lawsuits coming. But for who? Is it for Tasha K? Anybody on her team? Wendy Williams, Avion Foster, Calvin Hunter. What was that whole message daytime tea time was trying to project to us about Wendy protecting her son? Is she trying to allude to the fact allegedly that Kevin Hunter, the boy, the, the young man, the teenager, Wendy's son, may be being abused in some way? Let me know what your thoughts are, guys, to this whole entire crazy, um, whatever you call clout chasing on a come up. Uh, black women doing their job being the best at what they do dancing to the beat of their own drum not answering to anybody establishing themselves in this industry i mean i'm not here to tear daytime tea time down or tasha k i just put facts or alleged facts before you and you be the judge of it okay um and with that being said you all this is religion wink tv and my spiritual ears stay and um, if you guys hear anything with the update on the Dennis Brown case, um, 
with this whole you know star marie cardi b case lawsuit let me know and i'll do more content on it for you and i'll give you an unbiased opinion i do believe tasha k has been sued i do believe tasha k has been served i heard her voice on the recording i read you the post that goes along with you know the recording the um process server guy identified himself as to who he was i believe he could have just rang the damn doorbell and asked if he had the right address he didn't have to go through her mail that probably would piss my ass off too see some stranger out there going through my damn mail like what the hell is going on especially knowing she's a big celebrity youtuber like she is and having all the controversy uh, yeah i'd be alarmed as to who the hell going through my mail as well but to state that um i'll blow your head off to that effect um i don't know if i would have took it that far so you heard my commentary on it let me know what you think down below oh and as far as that avion foster video i did tasha k may have forced wendy wham's hand allegedly saving her life you know um i made a statement in there he said he took a shit right after he shit it kevin ate him out down there allegedly um it, it's all shit to me but i i stand corrected i will you know retract my statement i thought i heard him say he didn't wipe his ass but that's very gross and i hope kevin didn't you know lick a man's ass with shit on it but even the fact of going shit and taking a shit and wiping your ass sometimes there's crumbs left back there some people don't wipe all the way good i'm just saying you all it's just a shitty ass mess with that even being part of somebody's commentary because at the same time tasha k says she turned down the interview candace did because the woman kia the manager of mcdom music uh can depend on you um said that in one of her posts and i have that i think i showed it in my other video called lord the Res lord just resurrected me and tasha k and damn daytime tea time right but um anyway she stated in the post y'all it's out there check her instagram post or somewhere her community feed that she didn't want to do the interview i'll probably pull it up and put it in here so you can see it because uh the woman kia because Kia was going to say he get his period and, and leak blood all over the toilet seat. What's worse? Having him admit it, he has some kind of hypospadias, uh, hermaphroditis um, condition. Uh, and he, he, he admitted that, right? But then to admit that somebody licked your shitty ass. I mean, neither one of them should the masses hear about. But which one is greater to you? I stand corrected. He wiped his ass and Kevin still licked that shit back there, okay? So with that being said, Tasha, you've been served, girl. Slow down. You're not going to take my advice. I'm just commentary. Just a black woman who care about you and your baby and the welfare of you and your ongoing career on these YouTube streets. Please. You ain't got to pay these people. No, you ain't got to prove nothing to these people. And you can start to pay them dust. Kind of like what Lovely T has done in her career. The only time she stepped down was on that line. It's a Judah video the other day, right? And again, she came because she had a force behind her. So with that being said, not here to disrespect any black woman or any body, period. But Tasha has been sued and served. And I need for you guys to comment on this video. Thank you. This is your girl, Religion Wink TV. And my spiritual ears stay. Shalom and you all have a blessed day. Peace.